I should probably double check that before I do anything else. Okay, so it does say that we are now streaming. I like doing stuff. That is the name of the stream. Um, this is my island. It's Moomin. We've been here before because I've done like library programs on here and stuff. But right now I'm not doing a library program. I was gonna, but it's a beautiful day. I kind of figured people would maybe want to play outside instead. I highly recommend playing outside because playing outside is fun. Um, I've got some stuff to sell. Well, I'm selling this. I remember that much. I am... Um, apparently I'm not selling that. Whoops. Check what they've got in their cabinet. Oh, they've got the boring shovels. That's that's silly. But they've got a pink balloon. Yeah, nothing I want. I've got to get stuff out of my storage. So that's a thing that I will be doing shortly. Also, Puck is wearing an ugly fishing vest. Well, no, he's not. Now he's exercising. Good for him. Exercise is good. I, um, I was going to go to my storage. Oh, I can take down the obstacle course for the program that's not happening because everybody should be playing outside instead. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. 
Start construction! <sighs> okay, so the idea for the program which is now happening on November 13th at 4, so please sign up for that if you are so inclined. The promise for the program is that it is a trivia contest, but instead of just being trivia, you need to make your way through an obstacle course to get to the answer that you would like to give. So it's going to be multiple choice, and if you think the answer is A, you will be running through the course to get here, B, C, so on, you know. Um, it is something that I am really looking forward to because I think it'll be a lot of fun, but I think it'll be more fun in November. There's, there's nothing better to do than play Animal Crossing with your friends. I know that we've got some great trivia. I don't know what the questions are because I was kept blind on purpose. Our wonderful Animal Crossing assistant, Katie, who made the beautiful set up for our Olympics program is in charge of the trivia. So I'm really excited to see what she came up with. But again, that's going to be in November. I didn't want to sit down. I wanted to pick that up. For right now, I'm just going to take this apart. because I can do something else with this space. What is it? I don't know. But it'll be something. live streams will be going to different horror islands and I'm going to be making Moomin into a horror island. It'll have an ongoing story. Um, I can give you some hints for the story because it's almost spooky season. So I shall be... Is the game really loud or is that just me? Can't tell. Whatever. Um, I'm going to be making up a story and then changing movement every single day to make that story come to life and make it very, very spooky. Um, so the hint that I can give you is actually my passport. I'm not sure if you will get any clues from that, but that's the clue I'm going to give you. That is not what I meant to do. gate to friends here in a little bit because, oh, that, that's an expensive bug. I'm going to catch that bug. 
I'm, I failed. Nope. Yep, did it. Awesome. I'm really good at everything. So... soon because Susan is going to come over to drop off some stuff. The stuff she is dropping off is stuff that she wants to save because they're going to be restarting their island this weekend, which is very exciting and I can't wait to see what they end up doing with it. Um, sometimes I think about restarting, but I'm way too attached to all my villagers now. Like, I... I don't know, I just love them very, very much. I don't know that I would be okay with erasing them. Even though I know that they're just pixels on screen. And bits of code and stuff. Been through a lot together. Six months of the pandemic. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. That's maybe a little bit faster. We'll do it. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here instead for October, but it'll be something special. If anybody has any ideas, I would very much welcome them. very soon, like in five days. So, I am really hoping that we would be able to play that. On the screen. Except because of social distancing, I think I might have to rope Hayden in. I'm sure. I don't really know how long the oh no. Um what was I saying? I don't really know how long the blue tooth capabilities for the I don't know. Um, but the wireless controllers, I don't know how far their range is. Is what I've been trying to- oh no, pockets are full. What I've been trying to say. Um, as we all know, I'm very, very good at being distracted easily. This is why I do better when I am talking to somebody instead of just talking. Because when I'm just talking, I kind of just- go all over the place. I never have any thoughts about what I'm going to say. I just, like, open my mouth and start talking. Which 
can work really well. But frequently for me it does not. down this pathway. But I set up. For an obstacle course. This can't be very much fun to watch, I'm sorry. Maybe I should not do this right now, but... The sound of the shovel tearing down the cliffs is like kind of meditative to me. So I used to just terraform like this when I was having trouble sleeping. Because it would just kind of relax me. So I'm getting super like chill. And that's making me sleepy. I wish I was Cosmo right now, I don't know why. This is going to be here about 4.30. Taking a while. Now I'm gonna chase down that balloon. Oh, I have things to give to my villagers, so I'm gonna do that pretty soon. There's another one of those expensive bugs. 
Probably going to make my net explode. Where'd it go? Eee, bug, 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 bug. You are lying, you are a fake bug. Pietro in the distance.
close to being all done with this part. I love it when Pietro frowns, he looks so silly. I also love it when he sniffs flowers. He looks very silly doing that as well. And I do get the irony of saying that he looks silly when I'm wearing the glasses with the stash and a superhero outfit. I get it. done. This is great. Maybe I can make a little hedge maze here. That might be fun. garden thing. Kind of cool. Because I have another big open space too. On the other side of the island. This is not helpful. Yeah, you don't need to take a breather. You haven't done anything. You're like Cosmo. Thank you. Move. Don't you dare. Don't you dare sit down again. talking about getting a second switch because um, we have no life outside of video games and work and I'm also very tired of him giving my villagers ugly clothes like the fishing vest that Puck is wearing is definitely from Hayden because I wouldn't have done that. Um, and we only have Pietro because Hayden wanted Pietro. He decided that Pietro was his favorite villager after seeing him in Pocket Camp. Hayden likes clowns. I. I don't understand it really, but it's whatever. Um, so we went island hopping and never found him, and then eventually decided to take him from somebody else's island because they were terrified of clowns and hated having Pietro. And I was kind of like, eh, Pietro's fine, you can take him or leave him. But now I really, really love him. He is so cute and so silly. 
and he just makes me smile because he's just a rainbow sheep who says silly things. So Hayden and I have been fighting over when we get our hypothetical second switch so that we don't have to share Animal Crossing anymore, um, which one of us will get to keep Pietro. And Hayden says that it should be him because he likes Pietro more, because Pietro's his favorite. But I think it should be me because I am the one who gave up Nook Mile tickets to get him on our island. And I think that Hayden can find his own Pietro. As of right now, our is that we shall just trade him back and forth. You know, whenever there's an open plot. Until one of us gets a different Pietro to move in. I don't know that we will ever have an open plot at the right time, but... I don't know, I like Pietro, I don't want to let him go. Also, I've gifted him a lot of really great stuff. get the balloon because I always get the balloons because it bothers me when they pass by and I can't get them. I think my slingshot broke. So close. Almost done. Hooray. I'm 
I'm actually um, drinking pop straight out of a two liter because I am gross and also there are no rules because I am an adult. Yay, thank you. So now I'm back to being styling. Well, shoot. Too much stuff. Digging is hard when you have um, a home drift.
Comedians out there. Thank you. 
Now he says trans rights, which is great. You do have to do everything like for yourself when you grow up. It, it's one of the great tragedies of life, I think. Somebody's gotta get the hot dog dress today. they just want to give me a jockey helmet or baby romper or I just get a lot of clothes from them that I do not want. I don't know why it's like that. something. I think I want to give you the tango dress. Try it on right now. Beautiful. Although Gruff really would have liked that more because Gruff likes purple and fancy. But I don't care because Elvis so hmm. I'm hungry. Wait, I do? Cool, thanks. So, um, if anybody wants to stop by, Kit is crafting a cool hyacinth crown. But also, there's a lot of stuff on the ground. Please don't take it. I don't know what most of it is.
This stuff is stuff that I got from Susan's animal last night. I wonder if they're gonna give their island the same name. If I were to restart 
I would definitely go with Moomin again. It's a good name for an island. It's also what I named my town in New Leaf. So Moomins are these little Moomin trolls is what they're actually called. Um, oh, she's a strawberry. And they are a with Swedish comic strip thing. They're cute little cartoon characters and they're adorable and I love them and that, that's the story. That's all you need to know. Literally, that's it. Nosey, just checking out the things that
Okay, um, I think I'm gonna stop the stream because I'm very tired. So, good night, and we will be back tomorrow with Quarantine Game Night.